Welcome to the Temple Learning Tool for Isovaleric Acidemia. Temple Tools Enabling Metabolic Parents Learning was developed in partnership with the British Inherited Metabolic Disease Group and Nutrition Metabolics. Your baby may have been diagnosed with isovaleric acidemia, or IVA. We are here to help you understand the diagnosis and what you can do to make sure your baby has the best opportunity to grow and develop just like any other bundle of joy. What is IVA? IVA is an inherited metabolic condition which stands for isovaleric acidemia. For individuals with IVA, the body has trouble breaking down protein which it needs to help grow and repair itself. Protein is made up of chains of smaller units called amino acids. Leucine is one of these amino acids. Our bodies change amino acids into other substances or energy with the help of enzymes. This process is called metabolism. How does this relate to IVA? For someone without IVA, the amino acid leucine breaks down into other substances, and the enzyme isovaleryl coenzyme A dehydrogenase, or IVD, helps further break down one of these substances. Individuals with IVA do not have enough of the enzyme IVD, so only small amounts of leucine are completely metabolized. This leads to a buildup of toxic substances in the body and the brain, including isovaleric acid. Without proper management, the buildup of these toxic substances can lead to seizures and brain damage. Babies might experience poor feeding, irritability, sleepiness, vomiting, rapid breathing, and coldness. Other children might not develop early symptoms, but can experience learning difficulties. However, with early management, the buildup is controlled to support normal growth and development of your child. IVA is screened through the newborn screening process and is diagnosed by additional blood tests. The blood sample is analyzed to measure levels of isovaleric acid and other substances. How did your child get IVA? IVA is an inherited condition. There is nothing that could have been done to prevent IVA. In children with IVA, the genes that make the enzyme to fully break down leucine do not work correctly. Children with IVA inherit one non-working gene from each parent. Parents of children with IVA are referred to as carriers, but do not have IVA themselves. Most people don't know their carriers. When both parents are carriers, there is only a 1 in 4 chance their child will inherit IVA. It is possible for a child to not be a carrier if they inherit a working gene from both parents. There are two parts to managing IVA, your baby's diet and medication. Medications may be prescribed to help prevent the buildup of isovaleric acid. These medications are L-carnitine and glycine. The other important part of IVA management is a diet limited in whole protein to restrict leucine intake. For many babies with IVA, a special metabolic formula is part of the diet. Together, nutrition management and medication help assure your baby gets the best opportunity for normal growth and development. Even though too much leucine is dangerous for someone with IVA, it is essential for normal growth and development. A limited and controlled amount must be taken daily. This means that your baby can only have a certain amount of breast milk or standard infant formula. As your child gets older and starts eating solid food, foods that are high in protein may be limited since all protein contains leucine. Your dietitian will tell you how much breast milk, infant formula, and natural food to feed your baby. As your baby starts to eat solids, your clinic will work with you to teach you how to track leucine from foods. In addition to a diet limited in whole protein, a special metabolic formula may be prescribed as well. This special formula does not contain leucine, but provides otherwise all the necessary vitamins, minerals, protein, and energy your baby needs to grow. 
your dietitian will determine how much metabolic formula to give your baby. IVA Animix Early Years is the first IVA infant formula to contain DHA, ARA, and prebiotics. DHA helps your baby's brain and eye development, while the prebiotics supports immune and digestive health. You can monitor IVA by completing regular blood tests. Your metabolic team will work with you and discuss any necessary changes in management. For every child, regular checkups are essential. They are especially important for a child with IVA. During your clinic visit, your baby's height and weight will be measured. Blood tests will be taken to check isovaleric acid and other substances, amino acid, and nutrient levels. You will review your child's blood tests, growth, development, medication, and current diet, and make any adjustments accordingly. What happens if your baby gets sick? During illness, the body breaks down body protein. This can raise levels of isovaleric acid, leucine, and other toxic substances in the blood, which can lead to serious medical problems and require immediate medical attention. Early signs include vomiting, excessive sleepiness, or coordination problems. Contact your metabolic clinic immediately. It is extremely important to start the emergency protocol your metabolic team has developed for you. Your metabolic team may have you stop all protein in food and drinks, but increase calorie intake. If prescribed, continue taking metabolic formula and any prescribed medication. Always take full amounts of emergency feeds as prescribed. If symptoms continue, or if you are worried, go immediately to the hospital. Remember, it is essential that you contact your metabolic team immediately if your child is getting sick. Make sure to follow their instructions without any delay. To review, IVA is a serious, inherited metabolic disorder that can lead to severe brain damage. You can manage it with a leucine-restricted diet, metabolic formula, and medication. Always have a good supply of medications, dietary products, and metabolic formula, and make sure that they are not expired. Make sure you have the correct amount of breast milk or standard infant formula, metabolic formula as prescribed by your metabolic clinic, and have your emergency protocol handy. If your child is ill or not behaving as usual, communicate with your metabolic team to prevent serious medical problems. Regular blood tests are essential, so remember to stick to your clinic appointments. And remember, when correctly managed, your child can enjoy normal growth and development. Finally, always have your metabolic team's contact information with you, and remember to follow their recommendation to offer your child the best opportunity for normal growth and development. To learn more about IVA and how you can support your child, visit medicalfood.com.